Hi everyone and welcome back to my wine diary, the channel where everything is related to wine. Whether you're planning to work in the food and wine industry or simply trying to enhance your knowledge about wine, this video is for you. Today we're talking about two most renowned organizations and designations that they offer respectfully in the whole world of wine and spirits. WSET, Wine and Spirits Education Trust, and CMS, which is your Court of Master Sommelier. Before we jump into today's video, I would like for you to consider subscribing to this channel. Subscribe button is right down below. It's absolutely free here on YouTube, and it would mean the world to me if you subscribed. The reason I'm filming this video today is me myself being interested in obtaining one of these designations. So a while back, I remember catching myself and wanting to expand my wine knowledge from what I taught myself at that point. And I started looking into different designations available on the market. That's exactly how I came across the WSET, or some people call it VSET nowadays. I'm still sticking to WSET. And of course, the very well-known uh, CMS, which is Court of Master Sommeliers. So I did some research and I want to share it with you. So fun fact about me is that I am actually a big degree collector. I love all of the degrees that I've obtained through the years, whether it's my master's degree from college or it's a yoga certification course that I took. I love designations. I love degrees. So for me, no brainer, you know, to choose from one versus the other here. I did a lot of research and really dissected uh, each designation that we'll be talking about today. But before we do that and really focus on one at a time, I want to cover some of the core differences between the two. So for me, the criteria was what career opportunities do both offer and why people choose one versus the other. The CMS or Court of Master Sommeliers has a very heavy service component to it, hence the name. The word sommelier actually means wine steward or wine waiter in French, so that makes sense. They're very heavily service oriented, whilst WSET is very academic. So that said, Let's talk about the academic portion of both courses. WSET has a lot more class time, so it has a lot more um, classroom type of studies where uh, CMS is actually more of an independent research and independent study as well. What it really came down to for me was the biggest difference in between the two when it comes to future opportunities and careers, and that is your CMS or Court of Master Sommeliers being more of a restaurant trade public facing opportunities in the future, whereas the WSET would offer you more of a wine educator, wine blogger, wine whatever you want to call yourself that doesn't include any service uh, to it. Also worth of noting is the fact that although both of the uh, designations or both of the organizations were found by the same groups in England, your levels one to four in WSET actually don't correspond with the same levels one through four with the CMS. So just something to think about. Although they have the same amount of levels, courses do not correspond with each other. Now let's talk about each one of them in detail. So we'll start with the WSET, which I'll tell you a secret, that's the one that I'm actually leaning towards getting, but I'm still thinking about it. So for me, the WSET course and designation is really perfect for someone who doesn't know anything about wines or for the ones who want to refresh their memory and start from the basics. I heard that you can also skip levels in WSET, which the CMS designation does not allow you to do. Allegedly so, again, you know, opinions differ, but I heard that you can skip levels and you don't have to start with level one, which is super basic. I think I would still go through it just to refresh my memory and make sure that what I know is factual indeed. So I wouldn't be skipping mine, but it's just my preference. If you are a savvy wine educator or a person who's been uh, working in the wine industry for a while and you really want that WSET designation, you can literally skip courses and just pass the exam of level two or level three. 
that's what I heard. So let's talk about those levels for a moment. There are four levels in the WSET course, level one, two, three, and four being the diploma. Levels get progressively more involved um, as you go through them and the amount of tastings and the level of tastings actually get much, much hotter. So what I heard from some people who's done either one of the courses or have done both really, just by my research, is that WSET tasting exam is actually much hotter than that one in um, CMS program. Who knows if it's actually true or not, but that's what people say. So with the four levels that you have, fourth one being the diploma, you have to pay for every level at a time, clearly. So levels uh, and courses are not cheap in particular, but I feel like a big chunk of that money goes towards your wines as well. Every time you sign up for a course, which by the way, WSET offers you classes online, and they offer you classes uh, at the actual facility or school, whichever place actually hosts the WSET exams and courses. So you get a wine kit even if you sign up online you would still get a wine kit because you would need to do your tastings and i also heard that although they offer those online courses you would still have to show up uh, at the classroom at least once for your tastings and the exam for me personally i think that the wset course is much better it's just better suited for my lifestyle and what i want to do with my wine knowledge further in my career. So I'm not planning on working in any restaurant business or serving people for that matter. I don't even know if I will be venturing into doing some virtual tastings or actual tastings with people. So the idea of becoming a wine educator and maybe a wine blogger is really much more appealing to me. So I would go for the WSET course just for myself and for my career plans. Overall, it sounds like a very, very great course. People have amazing reviews about it. So people who've done it um, are raving about it. <laughs> I kind of got lost for words there. But truly, it's a very well-known and very well-renowned designation to have. Downside. In my opinion, there's only one downside to the WSET versus the CMS course, and that is you cannot call yourself a sommelier, neither can you call yourself a master of wine until you actually get there. So just for your understanding, with our levels one, two, three, four diploma, and then the exam for master of wine, which is the highest designation you can get with WSET, unless you go all the way through and get that master of wine exam passed, you can't call yourself a sommelier and you cannot call yourself master of wine. So technically all you can do is really display the WSET level two, level three, level one, whatever level you've accomplished on your resume or on your social media page if you want to brag about it, but you can call yourself either one of the big names. Whereas CMS actually allows you to call yourself a sommelier even if you pass level one, two, or three. So you don't have to go all the way through and get the uh, exam passed. Matter of fact, it's a very hard exam on both sides. Um, the only slack that they're giving you on, on the CMS side is that you can call yourself a sommelier even if you pass level one or two, you would just say you're sommelier level one or sommelier level two. It is now time for us to talk about the CMS or Court of Master Sommeliers designation and courses that they provide. So supposedly it has the same knowledge or educational aspect of it as the WSET, plus it's got the service content too. I will be very honest with you. I think that sommelier is a very sexy designation to have. It just sounds so good. That's why I was really attracted to it. Um, and I'm still kind of wanting to get that one just so I can call myself a sommelier, but I'm trying to be rational about this and I know that I am not going to all right, never say never. I am probably never going to work in food and wine industry on the restaurant side or on the uh, winery side. So for me, I have to really decide and be rational. You know, are you just getting it for the name 
or you're gonna get something that's actually better for the purpose that you've got. So that's why I'm leaning on the WSET side. So for me and my advice to you is that if you are not planning on working in food or wine related industries, so restaurants, wineries, you name it, anything related to actually serve in public, I would not recommend you going through this course. Now let's go through some core differences here um, from the WSET course and designation that we just talked about. So unlike our WSET, your Court of Master Sommelier actually doesn't allow you to skip levels. So you have to do them one at a time, one, two, three, four, and then proceed with the exam to become um, master sommelier at the end. Uh, courses are not easy. None of them are easy. WSET or Court of Master Sommeliers don't really seek an easy solution here. You have to learn a lot. So this one doesn't allow you to skip those levels. You have to do them one at a time. I also have to say that Court of Master Sommeliers also very strongly presses you to have some prior knowledge about wine and about the industry before you even go into level one or two, um, which with WSET, that's not the case. They actually teach you everything from the beginning. Um, they, they don't require you to have any previous experience in the industry. So speaking of that, I also have to say, that your CMS or Court of Master Sommeliers is more of a designation body. So it really just certifies you where all of the research and all of the uh, academics need to be done on your end. With WSET, they are more of an academic body. So they provide all of the materials for you. They literally will not ask you any questions unless they were in that study book. So for me, I think that it's just more of a certifying establishment, Court of Master Sommeliers, where WSET strongly focuses on taking the control of educating people the way they want them to uh, think about wine and know things about wine. A few more peculiar things here. So again, as I said, there are also four levels, four levels in both courses here, one, two, three, four. Now the final most wanted achievable result here with both of the designations is of course the biggest one. And with your WSET, that's your master of wine, which in the whole world, we right now have around 400 people only holding that designation. What's even more crazy than that is your Court of Master Sommeliers, which has its final designation and the most wanted designation um, for people who've, who've gone through all of those levels is your Master Sommelier. So those people in the whole world, we have only around 200. So think about that for a moment. There are so many wine lovers in the world. There are so many wine experts and wine educators. And if combined in between the two designations and the two schools, there are only 600 people or so who hold those highest degrees draw the pain picture for yourself and try to realize how difficult those uh, courses actually are and how difficult it is to finally get the biggest designation that they offer. It takes years and years for you to proceed with everything and to learn everything. Um, and I think that is why uh, Court of Master Sommeliers doesn't allow you to skip levels. They really want you to dedicate time. They want some commitment from you. So they would a lot of times uh, a request for you to have some experience say three years of experience, for instance, between level two and level three that you can take. They really want to see that you're invested in this. Uh, it's not just something that you're getting to put on your resume. You actually want to um, live the life of a winemaker or live the life of a, of a sommelier. So they want you to have an experience of working in the winery or working in a restaurant, being maybe an assistant to a sommelier with your level two before you can even jump onto level three and level four. Lastly here, I also want to talk about the price. The price of the two courses, according to most people, is very similar. Although, according to my research, there were some differences in pricing as well. So from what I found, WSET was a little more affordable, um, whereas Court of Master Sommeliers was a little bit more expensive. So what I found, and because I think I'm going to invest myself into the WSET course, I found out prices for that one 
you get a little discount for taking courses online versus actually going to a school or a facility that holds those courses and exams in person. So just to give you an example, uh, prices for level one online with WSET start with $299. So $299 and with that you get all of your educational materials, you get your wine kit. Uh, I believe that also includes your exam fee. So a lot of things are included in the 299 and that is an online course which especially now in the times of the global pandemic that we're living i think is a really good option for you to take so with court of master sommeliers i did not dissect prices level by level but i know that it starts with about $500 and goes up to almost $1,500 or even more for higher levels that they offer. So I think that is safe to assume that whereas your WSET course level one would cost you around $300, the Court of Master Sommeliers uh, course level one would cost you about $500 or so. I want to end this video here, not to make it too, too long. This is everything that I've researched on so far. These are all of the details that I found out from the internet about both of the designations and both of the courses. So as I learn and as I venture out on my journey with WSET very soon, I will, sh I will shoot some separate videos just telling you about levels and how I passed through them, how hard the exams were, what were the questions, what's in the educational materials and so on and so forth. But if you guys know anything else about those courses, please let me know in the comments down below. Very curious to know. And if you already have one of the levels, if you already have one of the designations, please let me know as well. Am I making a mistake going for WSET versus the court sommeliers? Uh, let me know. I'm not sure, but I think I'm listening to my gut and to my heart correctly, and I should go for the WSET. So let me know what you think. Let me know if you've got one of those, and make sure to see some of the other videos that I do here on this channel. They're all wine related. We have different topics to discuss. They're numerous. I shoot videos every single week, so make sure to subscribe to see the new ones, and press on that bell button down below. That's the one that notifies you of my new videos coming out. This is it, you guys. Thanks so much for watching, and until next time, cheers.